Hi, I'm John Thompson with Blue Margin, and I'm going to take a few minutes to share with you our private equity HQ, which is a set of best practice dashboards we use to help private equity firms manage their portfolios, their funds, their outreach, their limited partners, etc. I'm going to start with some background about our team, and then we'll jump into the tool set. This is our team. There are 32 of us in Fort Collins, Colorado, all in the same office. We are gold partners with Microsoft in data analytics and data platform, um, as well as a few other competencies. Our team is made up of consultants, our PMO, and then our engineering team that is about half data architects, all the plumbing of data behind the drywall, and data viz engineers, visualization engineers, who render data for humans to consume, which is the end goal. We've had about 250 clients to date. Uh, my brother and I founded the company. We were, in fact, private equity-backed executives around 2004. Um, and can tell you more about that story if you want to chat sometime. What we help companies address is the issue of poor visibility. We've found, as being PE-backed executives and now working with quite a few companies, that at the root of most, if not all, business issues is poor visibility somewhere that creates silos and disconnect and a lack of coordination and a lack of focus on the highest priorities in the value creation plan, poor accountability, et cetera. What we do is work with the Microsoft stack, all things Power BI, SQL, Azure, et cetera, and help companies in a single screen to see how are we doing overall? What's the game we're playing and are we winning? What are the vitals of this company? What are the most important metrics? Not just for the executive team, but can drill down further into an organization so each role has their own instrumentation and can be accountable to deliver the outcomes that their job requires. I'm going to jump over to the tool set here. Let me just hide that menu. So this is for a PE firm. It's a view of their entire firm, so all fund families, fund vintages, and companies. This is a best practice dashboard in that it starts with awareness and then moves to analysis and then ultimately has the detail to take action. The point there being if you can follow a user's natural narrative for that awareness, analysis, and action, they will attach to the dashboard, it will become their second brain, and you'll be much more successful at adoption and creating a data-driven culture. So this dashboard starts with a title to explain what it is. It has a refresh date on the data so you can see how current it is. We like to use an info button that gives things like definitions to key metrics and thresholds for KPIs. At the top, the most important metrics. What are we looking to impact? In this case, we're looking at sales year-to-date and EBITDA year-to-date. You can see each has a tooltip so you can get a quick trend and some information about percent variance. Down here, we've got an overall trend on actual budget forecast and operating plan across the whole fund. But we can also, again, choose a fund family, choose a fund vintage, pick a specific date up here, choose a specific company, group those by current or exited. And then I have slicers right on this page that let me look at year to date, month to date, et cetera, sales, EBITDA, gross profit, et cetera. This actually takes typically a 20 to 25 tab Excel workbook and puts it onto one page. You can do that with a tool like this because of those tool tips, those slicers, and so on. And what that does is allows users to get everything in context, answer their questions, um, have the key information so they don't have to cross-reference or make inferences and try to figure out what's happening. We also have days sales outstanding, DPO, DIO. We've got ownership and performance by fund family, fund vintage, even the company. Looking at invested amount, IRR, MOIC, debts and covenants, status, change in net debt, net leverage. These can be customized to fit your particular model, but this is a good best practice sort of standard approach. As we drill down further, we get a more uh, Portco-centric view. So this is looking at the entire um, fund or the entire firm again, but I can pick a specific portco and get a revenue bridge, look at EBITDA contribution. Again, I've got those tooltips on those main numbers, see prior or budget. And then I've got a monthly growth trend here on the bottom. Again, I've got that tooltip so I can see more details about those key metrics and I can look at sales or EBITDA and then I have annual growth broken down there. And then finally, for a more granular view of the whole portfolio, this is a list of all companies 
in the portfolio and I get all of their key information that I can sort on. I've got KPIs, red or green or yellow, um, in the data here in the table so I can get a quick sense of direction and performance. I can pick one company and it will just show me the information for that or pick a group of them. I see gross profit and margin, tr margin trending, sales by fund family in this case. So that's the kind of detail we can go to. And then we can add additional insights like outreach and deal sourcing and so on. So that's a quick overview. Just to finish up with some resources that may be helpful, there are Power BI tutorials here, a white paper that we wrote on how to uh, design dashboards that actually get adopted. We have a podcast called The Dashboard Effect that is very current and active with luminaries and experts from private equity and industry. Our book, The Dashboard Effect, that gives you the how and why of using data to maximize return on investment. Additional help, we're happy to make introductions to clients, counterparts in your industry or other PE partners. We have a webinar we did with Microsoft for a manufacturer called Elgin. Uh, we're happy to spend a half hour on the phone with anyone and talk about the industry. We like to geek out on this stuff, so feel free. And then here's an interview with Adam Coffey. He's a three-time PE-backed CEO and best-selling author, really understands the role of data in maximizing an investment and talks about that on our podcast video cast there as well. At the bottom is my contact information, my email, and my phone number. Please don't hesitate to reach out. That's my direct line. Happy to chat with you anytime. Thank you.